Hi, this is Natalie. It's the 14th of July 2020. The UK government has announced that they are reducing the VAT rates for certain industries and sale types within the hospitality and tourism industries in the UK. In real terms, this means that for anybody who is using Xero as their bookkeeping software, they may need to make some changes to any default settings they have for how they record their sales. So that's what we're going to look at today. Now, we won't be able to look at any integrations during this video, there just isn't time. So if anybody does need any help ensuring that their integrations are mapped with the correct VAT rates, please do get in touch and we will help you with this. Now, these changes come into force tomorrow on the 15th of July 2020. So without further ado, we're going to take a look at zero and see where we might need to change our tax rates depending on how we use the software and everybody will be slightly different. So the first place we're going to go and look at is the chart of accounts. So to find the chart of accounts, what you need to do is go to the blue banner across the top of the screen, go to accounting, scroll down the menu until you get to chart of accounts. Now, if this isn't favorited down here under your advanced area, you can go up here at the top. Everybody will have advanced. And we go in. Just wait for that to load. Here we go, you will find it over here to the right hand side. You notice I have a star in it, which is why it appears in my favorite menu. If not, you can pop star in at this point. If you don't want to favorite it because you're not gonna use this very often, then you can just click straight through at this point. And then the chart of accounts will load. Now, I'm gonna close this help section at the top. Some of you may have these turned off anyway. So. What we've got here is a list of all the different accounts that you have in Xero. Now your numbers and the names of the accounts may be different because you may have a personalized chart of accounts. However, the principle will be the same, that you will have different account codes. Now we are in the tab here, we can see it says all accounts. We can narrow down the list by going to these certain tabs for certain types of account. Or you can use the search bar if you're looking for a very specific one over here. I know that my sales ones conveniently are all right at the top here, so I don't need to narrow anything down just at the moment. You'll notice I have set up five separate sales codes so that we can have a look at a few different things. So the first thing we can do is we can look at how we change a VAT default here. These are the default tax rates on an account code. If we just want to do a single one, the simplest way to do that is to click on the name of the account and this opens up the details for that chart of account code. And down here at the bottom, we can see there is a default tax setting. So we can quite simply pick the 5% here, save it. And that now has changed that VAT rate to 5%. Again, if we've had enough, we can go back in. We can change it back. You can change the name. So we can add one. So there we go, let's change that back now. Um, if you want to change multiple codes, what you can do is rather than have to do them all one at a time in that way, we can put a tick in the box down the side. Up here, we have change tax rate. From this drop down menu that we now have, we can choose whichever tax rate we want. In this one, please be very careful because it will give the option to use the codes which are for the expenses. And we, for this purpose, are only interested in the income code. So if we decided we wanted to change one, two, and three to 5% VAT on income, we can choose that one. We can choose save, and they will all be changed simultaneously. So that saves us having to go in to change codes individually if we've got multiple sales codes, which is a time saver. If you only have one sales code, you may find that you want to set up a secondary sales code so that you can have one sales code for 20% VAT on income and a second sales code for 5% VAT on income. People that may want to do this are people that may be making sales which are allowed to be sold at the reduced rate. 
but also have some things that they sell at 20%, for instance, a pub or a restaurant that is selling soft drinks and food, but is also selling alcohol. So you would want to be able to split out those sales within your chart account so that you can have 20% VAT and 5% VAT. So to do that, we go to add account. Now we have to give this all the details for it to be able to set the code up for us. So the first thing we do is account type. So we are gonna choose revenue because this is a revenue code that we are setting up. We're gonna give it a number. So I know that my numbers are all in the 200. So I'm gonna give this 225 as my number. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm going to call it sales six. Obviously, I give it a name that makes sense to you. Uh, you can give it a description. It's not necessary, but you can do it if you want to. And down here, we can give it the tax rate. So I'm going to leave this one as 20% VAT. So I'm going to say that this is my specific code for alcohol sales, for example. So there we go. We can see that now has been set up. They're ready to use. Now, if you don't have any other shortcuts, this may be all you need to do so that when you come to an invoice, that default tax rate is applied according to which chart account code you choose when you're actually entering the sales invoice or the received money transaction. However, if you use products and services item codes, then you will need to go in and also change the item code because although we've changed the default code for that chart of account, the item code has been set to 20%. So to do that, what we might want to do is go to our products and services, which you can find in the business tab, and then down at the bottom, products and services. You just wait for the page to load. So I'm going to scroll down. So again, this is the products and services. So you'll find the big list and it won't just be the ones you use for sales. It will be also any that you use in purchases. I'm going to narrow down the field because there are a lot in this demo company. I'm going to search for sales. So I can see that I have sales five down here. If I open the item code that I would use within a sales invoice, I can see that the tax rate has been set to 20% VAT on income. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit the item by using the edit item button. I'm going to change this to 5% VAT on income. And I'm going to save it. So now anytime I use that item code within a received money transaction or within a sales invoice, that, that item code will have the VAT treatment of 5% automatically applied to it despite the fact that in the chart of accounts it is listed as 20%. So that's where we are overriding that chart of account code. Now, the third way that you may need to change default settings for preset VAT rates is if you currently use repeating sales invoice templates to manage your sales invoicing. So to do that, what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to go to business and you're gonna to go to invoices. From here, we can move across all the way to the end to the tab labeled repeating. This is where we find the templates that Xero uses to create sales invoices. Now the demo company doesn't have any set up. However, we go to a new repeating invoice. If you are using repeating invoices, hopefully you're familiar with these templates. So the top box tells us all about how often the frequency, the dates, that we want the template to be used. We don't need to change that for this purposes. What we're looking at is the information down below, which is where the information is put onto the invoice. So a lot of this information you'll have preset, you won't need to change it. However, if in here you do have information set and you have it coming through with a tax rate that is there for preset here, what you will need to do is change this tax rate to 5%. That will then edit the invoice and we can save it. So that will then create the template and that's where you change it. I hope this has been helpful. Like I say, 
we we cannot look at all the different types of integrations that you may be using. So if there are any other integrations you're using with Zero, where your sales are being brought in automatically, you may need to look at how those are mapped and check that it is has been set up correctly. If you need any help with that, please get in touch. You can get in touch with us via our website. Give us a call or drop us an email. Good luck, guys. Bye for now.